healing you. I've commented before in previous writings that I have a semantic aversion to the concept of healing. From a non-dualistic point of view, healing becomes a matter of judgment about how we feel about our bodies and lives and has little to do with the reality that how we express in our given incarnation is perfectly who we are being. No harm, no foul. That said, from a day-to-day experience of life and linear time, we most certainly become aware of dysfunction and pain leading us to look for a way to heal. At the core of these dysfunctions, pains, and unwanted conditions are inevitably unconscious patterns we've created in response to experiences, usually traumatic or extreme in some way, either physically, mentally, or emotionally. The deep-down reality of the situation with disease and dysfunction is that we created or adopted, many times unwittingly, negative experiences that, because they were negative, we decided to block them or denied them or shoved them down to a dark hole of forgetfulness. The problem with doing this is that the energies of the experience are still active and reactive in the present moment, even though we've quite thoroughly forgotten their origin or intensity. Complicating matters is that every time these reactive experiences are activated, it affects the entire field of consciousness. And this is what I'm addressing in this essay. The harsh or ecstatic quantum truth is that we are all connected as conscious and unconscious energy vortexes. All of our perceptions and experiences, whether conscious or unconscious, affect the entire quantum field of life. On the day-to-day, we don't really observe this directly due to social mores, cultural memes, and contrivances, yet we are all affecting each other with every thought we experience, every intent we create, and every action we take. And this includes all that previously created and sequestered reactive energy we placed in the denial box of the unconscious waiting to be triggered at any moment. The important thing to realize here is that for every unwanted condition, denied energy, and latent trigger lies the opposite, that when addressed and brought to the present attention, causes a discharge, and so is no longer unconsciously reactive. What initiates this process of mindful attention can exist anywhere in the quantum field of life, meaning that your healing is inevitable due to the increasing and expanding conscious present awareness of all sentient life in the universe. This is why it is possible to be healed by another person, animal, or entity. Often it's just a matter of asking for the healing, and in the asking, the field of sentience sends back the resolving energies causing the disease or dysfunction in the first place. Of course, if we believe this can't happen, or no, this isn't the way it works, that just serves as a barrier and further isolates the unwanted energy within the dark cauldron of our unconscious. On the other hand, to become aware and in allowance of the reality that our unconsciousness is waiting to discharge upon our request or demand, then healing can occur. Nothing happens without our permission. My favorite book on this subject is Alice Bailey's Esoteric Healing, wherein she makes this exact point. As a healer, without full consent and trust of the client or patient, no amount of moving energy or discharging is going to have any effect. Therefore, the seeking of healing requires that the seeker be fundamentally willing to re-perceive what energies lurk in the dark cave of unconsciousness and to reach out to the sentient whole to find and remind how, why, where we blocked or denied those energies of an unwanted experience. And in so doing, let go of these blocked or previously unseen energies, so they may contribute once again to our life and to the expansion of general universal sentience. Healing has always been an inside job. And in acknowledging that reality, we not only open the floodgates of our own healing potential, we also open the possibilities for others to be healed, ultimately serving the entire conscious collective. And by reaching out with intent and purpose, 
We call in the keys to unlocking the prison of unconscious energies and free ourselves as well as our beloved fellow beings into infinite possibilities. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com. <laughs>